Hey guys, it is the AC Follower back once again with another Assassin's Creed 4 update. Now in this video we're going to be looking at the setting and locations that will be seen in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So a video with compiled information like I did last year with Assassin's Creed 3. So let's get right into it. Now as we all know, the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is set around 1713 and ending no later than 1725, starring Edward Kenway, the grandfather of Assassin's Creed 3's Connor Kenway in the Golden Age of Piracy. Now, Edward Kenway, as we know, is a pirate trained by assassins. Now, the first major location that I'd like to talk about is the Caribbean Sea, which is located in the Atlantic Ocean on the borders of Central America and Mexico. Now, assassin Connor Kenway, the star of Assassin's Creed 3, sailed throughout the Caribbean Sea several times throughout the game, um, showing notable locations and scenery um, that will be familiar to us when we play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now, assassin Edward Kenway, the grandfather of Connor, sailed throughout the Caribbean, and this is the area that will be the primary location and setting for the game, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now, Edward sailed throughout with his ship, the Jackdaw. Now, this open world Caribbean sea location, which will be in the game, is kind of taking the place of the frontier, yet its size has not been disclosed to the public. Um, now, the Caribbean Sea will include many locations throughout that you can visit islands, open seas and things like that. Um, some notable locations that you can visit other than jungles and being able to go underwater and um, hunt the native wildlife will be Portolo, Cayman Islands and Tortuga. So there are other, other several locations that we'll get to visit. However, those are ones of note that we know so far. Not all has been disclosed to us, however. The next major city, well the first major city anyway, the next major location is Havana, the capital and major port of Cuba. It is a colony of Spain during Assassin's Creed 4 and is a common pirate hangout area and is visited several times by Edward Kenway, the Jackdaw and the rest of his crew. The next major city that will be in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag that has been confirmed is Kingston. It is the capital and the largest city of Jamaica. Um, during the Golden Age of Pirates, he was visited many times by pirates, another very notable hangout for the pirates during that time, as well as Edward Kenway who visited it several times, and it kind of has that colonial America kind of feel, while Havana has that kind of Spanish Renaissance kind of feel to it with its architecture. So those are two very different cities, giving us kind of two very different cultures, which is something of note and that's very interesting to me about Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. The next game that we see in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag that's been announced is Nassau, which um, we haven't really seen much other than a couple of concept art pics and other small little glimpses. So it's a location we don't know a lot about in the game, but we know it's the capital and largest city of the Bahamas and is visited many times by the pirates of the time, including Edward Kenway. Now another location and the final main location of note that we haven't seen any of with the game is Florida. The, a south eastern state of the United States um, and a very important area to the assassins because it was one of the first locations that the assassin brotherhood um, settled in in the United States um, and was visited often by the pirates in search of treasure of the time including Edward Kenway as a hideout in certain areas so that's something very interesting that we see with the century for black flag that I'm looking forward to see some glimpses of Florida that's for sure so those are really the locations and stuff we know so far about Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So I've got all that information chucked into this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen one of my videos before, I've done plenty of these before, especially in the build-up to Assassin's Creed 3, and I'll continue that onwards and forward. I've got lots planned for this channel as well, so I hope you keep updated and watching my videos to know what's going on with Assassin's Creed 4 and any other information when we haven't had news and stuff going on. I'll do a whole roundup of things we know about specific topics of the game. I've got lots more planned of these videos in the future. I hope you keep watching, guys. Thanks heaps for watching again. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, guys, to help the channel grow and to get all things Assassin's Creed. Thanks, guys. I will see you later.